Hey y'all, it's Kat Cora coming to you from Quarantine Cuisine. Um, if you tuned in last night, you saw my video. Um, we had the coronavirus hit our family. Um, and um, we are now, the update is that our sons, thank God, are not showing any symptoms, zero symptoms right now. Um, but they're still being quarantined with my wife, Nicole, um, and in isolation. Um, we are waiting the results of Nicole's ex-wife um, to see whether or not she tests positive or negative. We finally found a test. We found one test available after talking to about 10 doctors and going to Cedar sinai and urgent care and ER. We found one test for her that she's getting today. So in about four or five days, we'll know the results of that test and I'll keep you posted on that. Um, we just, we just need all your prayers. So thank you. Um, I'm so happy to be coming to you guys. I'm taping this tonight. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, everything is changing hour to, by hour. This is all happening in real time. So, but I wanted to um, connect with you tonight and I wanted to share what I'm having for dinner. I'm actually by myself alone for the first time in a very long time, not having our six kids or my wife. Um, and it is really weird. It's really, um, it's lonely. Um, you're definitely isolated and I am quarantining myself right now until I know the results of the test as well. The one tip that I have for you today isn't about food, it's actually about having a plan in place um, for, you know, God forbid that, you know, the symptoms hit someone in your family or someone you love, have a plan in place. Talk to your doctors and pediatricians today and get a plan together with them um, in case symptoms arise um, in somebody in your family um, or with someone you love, um, that's most important. Um, we didn't do that because we really thought we, we were following every guideline. We didn't think this was gonna happen, but it can happen to any of us. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, famous, not famous, um, gender, uh, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter about, it does not discriminate. This is a vicious virus. We all have to protect each other. This is the time to amplify each other and lift each other up. Um, and please, you know, let's don't take each other down. Let's don't, uh, let's just be kind to each other right now. Um, that's the most important message I have today. Um, but I do wanna show you, um, as promised every night, I'm gonna try to come to you live. I am gonna start going live again um, in the next day or two. Um, so I hope tonight, tonight is a simple dinner. Again, I'm alone. Um, my heart goes out to all of you who um, have been, you know, doing this solo, who've been alone, who've been isolated alone without your family nearby and your friends. Um, so um, I'm in that position tonight. I'm cooking for myself only, which I'm used to cooking for eight people. So tonight what I'm doing is a simple protein bowl. So what I have here is I really literally just um, I had some steak in the freezer. I think it's a strip steak I had in the freezer. Um, and I thawed that out. I marinated it with a little bit of, um, just a little bit of lemon, garlic powder, salt, pepper, let it sit for a few hours. And then what I did was I just created a protein bowl. So I just had white rice on hand. Um, you know, I either have brown rice or white rice in the house. I had white rice, I cooked that off. I cooked some black beans. Um, a little bit of cheese, some bell pepper, some avocado, and some shredded lettuce. I'm gonna just put a little squeeze of lemon on the steak, like so. And then I'm going to slice that up, put it onto the protein bowl, and that's gonna be my dinner tonight. Um, and uh, if you guys just hold, bear with me, I'm gonna put this here. I also wanna show you my shirt. I had this shirt that I pulled out, and I thought this was really um, a timely message that um, it says when women support each other, but I also wrote in with a Sharpie, I put people. When women and people support each other, great things happen. And I do believe that. And this is the time to support each other and to amplify each other, pick each other up. Um, let me put this in a, I don't have my wife here tonight and Nicole is not here to film this. So I'm filming this. Um, that's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking this, as I said, I put a little bit of lemon juice on the steak and I'm just gonna slice it. I've let it rest for about 10 minutes. So when anytime you have a steak, a piece of red meat, you wanna make sure you let it rest um, for about 10 minutes so the juices run to the middle. If not, you're gonna have, I'm sure all of you have this experience where you've maybe rushed it, you've, you've taken it right off the grill or right out of a pan, put it on the cutting board and started cutting it and then there was juices everywhere. You lost all the juices on the cutting board. So I don't wanna do that. Um, I'm trying to, also I'm cooking it. You know, I like my steak 
you know, rare to medium rare. So cook it a little more if you like. Um, and then I'm just gonna put it right there on the protein bowl, as you can see. Sorry about that. There we go. And there you have it. That is gonna be my dinner tonight. And um, I'm gonna be thinking of all of you when I'm eating it. Um, again, my prayers go out to your family. Please send us all your love and prayers as well. It means so much to us. It means so much to me to be able to help somebody out there. If any of you I'm helping um, with these tips and advice, I mean, this is kind of the hotline right now um, for any cooking advice or cooking tips because we're cooking in our kitchens more than ever. And we're also, our families are, you know, we're all on lockdown. So we're cooking three meals a day. We're cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week right now for our families or for our loved ones. So that's a lot of cooking, a lot of time in your kitchen. So if I'm helping you, you know, please um, just always, you know, reach out with a, a really um, inspiring message for me and I'll keep bringing you guys content. I'll keep coming live to you and connecting with you because um, again, you know, this is really, it's helpful for me to connect with all of you. Um, you know, you don't know what it means. All of your beautiful messages yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to get back to all of you, but all of the well wishes, all of the love you sent um, to me yesterday and messages and to my family and all the prayers. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. And um, I'll be coming back to you hopefully live tomorrow night. I'm going to try really hard. I'm doing this by myself now. <laughs> Nicole knows how to do Instagram live. I'm going to learn. I'm going to watch a tutorial. I'm going to try because it's really meaningful to me when I can hear your messages and you ask your questions and you reach out with inspiring comments and, and also send requests. If you have something, I know some of you have, and we're going to try to meet all those requests and um, sent for dishes and topics that you want to talk about. And hopefully you'll have some friends that pop in to join us, um, not only from the food industry, but from any industry and talk about what they're going through because we're all um, in this together. We're all out of work. We're all trying to do the best we can. And I'm sending you lots of love tonight to you and your family. Stay safe, stay in and stay positive, stay calm and carry on. We, um, you know, we're going to get through this together.